Welcome back everyone. Be showing you how to create a satin cloth effect in Adobe After Effects in just a few simple steps. As always, the project file is in the description box for you guys to download. We will start off by creating a new composition and then creating a new solid layer on which you will apply the effect of fractal noise. Then we will change the values of fractal type to strings, the noise type to spline, the contrast to a 200 and the brightness to around 15. Then you're going to reduce the complexity to only 2. And here in the transform option, expand it and turn off or uncheck the uniform scaling to increase the scale width to around 1500. So like this and the scale height to around 150. In order to animate this, hold down the alt key on your evolution stopwatch. And here you're going to type in time asteric 100. So this script is what will give this cloth effect some movement. Now in order to change the color of this cloth, you're going to apply the tritone effect and you're going to change the color from light to slightly dark to darker. Now I will pre-compose our solid layer just so we can apply the effect of turbulent displays on it to give it further movement. And here you're going to increase the amount to a hundred just like this and change the size to around 500 so your waves are more smooth. And then in the evolution option make sure you have pin or locked turn on. And now if you play this you have this smooth satin cloth text effect. If you want to learn how to create a water animation using Adobe After Effects, follow along on this tutorial. As always, the project file is linked in the description box. So we are going to start off by creating a new composition. And then you will create a new solid layer. On this layer, we will apply the effect of fractal noise. And here we will change the fractal type to strings and the noise type to spline. And then you can change the contrast to around 250 and reduce the brightness to minus 25. Change the complexity to around 2 and then in the transform option we are going to uncheck the uniform scaling. So I'm going to change the width to around 550 and the scale height to around 80. So you have more waves effect on your water. Now in order to animate this, what we're going to do is turn on the evolution stopwatch at the 0 second mark. And at the 5 second mark, I'm going to increase this to around 1. So it completes one whole rotation for the 5 second duration. Now this is black and white and in order to give it a color, we are going to apply the effect of tint. So here you can change the colors to a water color. So now when I play this, you have this cool animated water background effect. I can com increase the composition size to a 10 second or a 15 second and all you have to do is change the fractal noise evolution stopwatch and increase the rotation by one for every five seconds you add to the composition. If you're interested in more quick Adobe After Effects tutorials, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.